It's Thursday, May 8th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. You know how Barack Obama once called his distant cousin Dick Cheney a crazy uncle in the attic? Well, it looks like Hillary Clinton is strong in the running to be the crazy aunt. The evidence is mounting. First, Hillary Clinton still thinks she can be president and has vowed to stay in the race until there is a nominee. Crazy ants still think they're making new episodes of Matlock and vow to keep watching every night until they see one. Second, under the rules of the DNC, Barack Obama will probably win a majority of pledged delegates on May 20th. However, under Hillary Clinton's rules, the party should count Florida and Michigan delegates, changing the definition of victory. Likewise, under the rules of Monopoly, you must build hotels evenly across all properties. However, under Crazy Ant rules, you can apparently build hotels wherever you want. Third, Hillary Clinton loaned her campaign another $6.4 million in April. Crazy Ants also make questionable purchasing decisions, like when they buy those limited edition collector's plates featured in Parade magazine. Fourth, Barack Obama doesn't want to explicitly push Senator Clinton out of the race. His supporter, Senator Claire McCaskill, saying that it would be inappropriate and awkward to do so. In fact, Obama struck a conciliatory tone at his North Carolina victory speech. In the same way, you don't want to be mean to your crazy aunt or poison her jello, because if you play your cards right, you could end up with a pretty sweet inheritance. Of course, perhaps the ultimate sign that you're the crazy aunt in the attic is when other black sheep in the family start to spurn you. And George McGovern, the Democratic nominee for president in 1972 and a one-time Clinton supporter, is now urging Hillary to drop out. That's George McGovern, the guy who ran against Nixon and got 38% of the popular vote and 3% of the electoral vote. Now you may think this guy is not really in a position to be giving advice to anybody. But then again, if anyone is an expert on hopeless campaigns, it's definitely George McGovern. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash nothing for more stories. And don't worry, if you've got a crazy aunt or uncle in your attic and they insist on playing you in Monopoly, sometimes the best strategy is just to let them think they won. That's solid advice you can only get right here on Kotecki TV. Live on tape from Roslyn, Virginia, the center of American commerce and culture.